We're gonna talk a little bit about how to delete nodes from a binary search tree. Of all the binary search tree operations, I think you'll agree with me, you saw how easy the parsing was, right? Little, literally like two or three lines of code, you can distinguish between pre-order, post-order, in-order. Likewise, hopefully you'll agree with me that the insert algorithm wasn't too bad. Uh, there is a little bit of recursion in there, but it's fairly easy to do, and in terms of lines of code, it's fairly short. The deletion is a little bit more tricky. I think it's the only hard part of binary search trees. We want to discuss three different cases, and then I'm going to show you how to deal with the third case, which is a heck of a lot harder than the first two cases. I want to first talk about the first case where we have a leaf node that we are going to delete. So for example, uh, I want to delete node number eight here. How difficult or easy would that be to do? And what would the tree look like after I have deleted it? Okay, sir, it would be easy. And what would the tree look like after I've deleted it? Just same, just without deleting. Okay, so what would I have to change in terms of the pointer, sir, in order to delete the eight node? Can you tell me? So the left child of nine would be set to what value? Null. No. Null. And we don't even have to worry about reclaiming the memory for the eight because in Java, the garbage collector would eventually come along and realize that nothing was pointing to the eight and it would reclaim it. In other programming languages like C++, you have to manually recoup this memory. But we don't have to worry about that. So I think you will agree that this case is fairly easy. The next case we want to talk about is where the node that we want to delete has one child. And I'll just take an example here of this node right here. You can see it only has one child. And I want to know if I were to delete that node three, would there be a fairly easy way to fix the tree so that the properties of the binary search tree would be preserved? And you agree that that's a fairly simple thing, yes? If there was another subtree over here and another subtree over here, that really wouldn't matter because we, when we connect this over here, everything else would just kind of come along for the ride. So the fact that one happens to be a leaf node doesn't really matter. So here, for example, you can see this seven node has a single child and the single child has its own children. But if I was gonna delete the seven, it's easy because all I do is go like this and now everything else is about this, the tree is still, it still works just as well. Yes, sir. I'm gonna show you the delete process here after I discuss the third case and you'll see it's a little bit more complicated for the third case and that's the one I'm gonna focus on, okay? So we agree then that this is also easy where we would find if they had zero, <coughs> or if they had zero children, we just basically switch the connection. If it has one child, we delete the node and just connect the, 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 the previous parent to the, to the previous child. We just go like that. We agree those two are easy, right? Now, I think you can understand that if the child has, sorry, you, you can understand that if the node has two children, it's not so easy. Like for example, if I was going to delete the 15, what would that look like? Can you see that that's much more challenging? Okay, so I would like you to give a little bit of thought to this problem and discuss with your partner, what, is there some way we could do something to the tree when the 15 has to be deleted so that we could convert that case into one of these cases? See if you can figure it out. It's not an easy problem. I don't expect you to necessarily come up with the answer. I just want you to think about it for a couple of minutes. So first thing I'm gonna ask you to do is I'm gonna ask you to fill in some additional numbers in these nodes that might make sense. You can't just pick anything out of the hat you want. It's got a lot of restrictions on it. For example, I'll tell you right now, this can only be one number. Uh, I, actually, uh, I take that back. Uh, this can only be one number, this one. What number is that? That must be in that node. Mr. RS5, sir? It must be 14. Why must it be 14? It must be less than 15 and more than 13. So 14 is the only possibility. Uh, this can be, I guess, uh, what can that be? 
It's got to be greater than 12, less than 15, less than 13. I don't think there's any such thing. Yes. Uh, over here, I think we have a much bigger choice of numbers. I'll just go with uh, I'll just go with 20 here, and I'll go with 19 there. I think that makes sense. And what about over here? What can I put over here? I think maybe 16 or something like that. All right. So let's look at this tree, and we want to we want to delete the 15. Now, here is the algorithm. I'll just share it with you. What we want to do when we want to delete an, a, a node here that has two children is we want to look at the subtrees of 15, and we want to find the minimum node in the right subtree. The minimum node in the right subtree. So looking at this one, what would be the minimum node in the right subtree? Yes, sir. 16. 16. You see that, right? Minimum node in the right subtree. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy that number into here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, we obviously have to get rid of this. Now we have two 16s. That's no good, right? We have to get rid of this one. So in this case, you can see, I think we can just get rid of it. Once we get rid of it, you can see that all the tree properties are still preserved. You see that, right? Okay, now let's say that, I'm gonna just erase this part right here. Let's say that this, this uh, tree had another node over here. Let's say it had another node over here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's possible in this case, is there, is it? Uh, I'll start cheating and using decimals. So let's say it's uh, 16.5 here. Okay. Now, in this scenario, you agree 16 is still the minimum in the right subtree, yes? Now, if I was to delete this 16, what would I do to fix up the tree again? Yes, sir. You make the 16.5 a child. I would just go like that. You see that, right? Okay. Now, question. What would I do... What would I do if the 16 had two children? Would I be stuck? Think about that now for a second. The minimum of a right subtree cannot have a left child. Then it wouldn't be minimum anymore. So therefore, when I select the minimum of the right subtree, it either has no children or it has one child only. So the technique here is to find the minimum, copy it into the node you want to delete, and then do one of these two things here. Now, instead of going with the minimum of the right subtree, what other node could I have used? Please discuss. Okay, I think everyone was shouting it. It was the maximum of the left. So that's another possibility. Because we want a deterministic answer here and we want to make sure that your code works through the auto grader, let's all just agree we're going to use the minimum of the right subtree. Okay, we're gonna use the minimum of the right subtree. Now, I will tell you that this entire lesson was taken from a video on YouTube, and I wanna show you that video right now. It's this video right here. He spends 20 minutes going over in great detail how to delete a node from a binary search tree. I even copied the tree in my lesson from his lesson here. So if you didn't understand or you missed part of the lesson, go back and review this. I want to show you another part of this video here. Eat a note from my... You can see that he'll actually give you the code for deleting a, from a binary search tree. Now there's one little catch. Is that Java? No. no. That is C++. So I want you to look at the video, look at all his code in C++, and then transfer it into Java. It's not cheating to copy his algorithm. It's not cheating. It would be cheating to go on the internet and just look up delete binary search tree Java and then just copy the code. You won't learn anything there. So I'm giving you a halfway point, okay? I'm letting you look at the code, but it's in another language. It's a very similar language to Java. It's about 80% the same. So it's not cheating to go on here, watch the video, look at the code, and simply transfer it from C++ to Java and incorporate it into the binary search tree that you're writing.